I'm here doing a shooting review of a Thorson stock. Um, this one I did last night of just kind of like a tabletop. So I just want to kind of go out here, um, just basically do some shooting with it, pulling up the cheek, whatever, see how it how it works as far as lengths of pull and stuff. Um, might do just not a crazy torture test, but might just do a couple drops on it, just see if it's going to hang. Um, looks like the first spot that's going to give is this cover. This cover's actually already popped off just with uh, shooting it prone. So. I definitely wouldn't recommend this with a, for a storage area of anything um, important you want to keep in there uh, because it looks like that's going to be the first thing that's going to pop off. But everything else so far seems pretty solid. Um, the reach for the safety to turn the safety back on, like I discussed on the video before, um, is a bit of a reach. So it's kind of makes it in a little bit awkward position. Um, this is just a standard GI style. You might be able to run like a um, extended or something from uh, SI uh, Strike Industries or something like that. or uh, what is it, a badass lever, whatever, that gets you a little more length um, to grab it to get it to turn back on. But uh, basically, I'm going to take a few shots here and put my ear pro on. So, coming up, safety's on, basically in like a slung position. So, we'll just come up, safety off, take a couple shots, safety back on. Um, So basically, safety's on, safe slung position. I'm gonna come up, turn safety off, good cheek, good cheek weld, safety back on. Like I said, I do have to reach a little bit to get that safety on. It's not too bad coming off. So I come off. That time you can pull a mag change, like a, because you run a normal uh, magazine, latch it now, load the next magazine, safety on, slung position. So it looks like it's, it's pretty doable. Uh, uh, as far as how your hand position is, it's a lot better than the Exile machine where you have to have your thumb on the uh, on the right side of the, the weapon, or gun, whatever. Uh, so this actually does seem pretty usable. Um, cheek weld is good; it lines up good with the optic. So what is nice is actually getting to run a, a standard mag release. Um, safety back on for uh, mag changes. So without having to use a bullet button, so it's definitely faster. Like I said, just be uh, be familiar with what other uh, pieces you have to have on there, like a muzzle brake. This one happens to be the Surefire uh, Pro Comp. Um, they're about 60 bucks. eBay sells a bunch of knockoffs and stuff for anywhere between $18 and up. So you don't have to spend a ton of money on it. Just make sure it doesn't say flash suppression or any kind of flash suppression uh, capabilities on the description of the uh, muzzle brake. And if you want to uh, like print it, if you buy one that doesn't say that or says California legal or approved, uh, maybe print the page and keep it somewhere in your shooting bag or whatever, just in case. Because some of them do look a lot like an A2 uh, flash hider, but the end's closed and they're drilled instead of slotted. So, um, once again, like I said, it, it does pretty natural coming up. Safety off. Safety on takes a little bit of work. Uh, at this point, I kind of want to do, like I said, a little bit of durability testing, as we see in the rifles. Now on safe chamber's empty, there's nothing in the gun. So, kind of real world testing. I'm not gonna, you know, drag it behind my truck or anything like that, but, you know, from basically shoulder level, if you were to drop it, uh, just make sure it doesn't snap in half. And that's, that's basically on, straight on the stock. That was from shoulder level, so that's pretty good height. I mean, that's, and you can see the cover already already came off. I don't know what drop that came off on, but it might have been the first one, because like I said, just shooting it uh, prone earlier, that came off. But it doesn't compromise the, the structure of the stock or anything like that. It's just like a little storage compartment. But that's something to be mindful for if you do keep batteries or something for your optic or your light or something in your stock, typically. Um, give it a couple more lumps there. And I'd say that's Real world, that's that's as far as you're gonna drop it from, is shoulder level. Um, I mean, will it take a spill off a building? Uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe not. Uh, but as far as real world goes, uh, that's as far as I can see you really dropping it. You know, more likely it's gonna be on a on the ground and tip over and fall. So looks like everything's still still good to go. Just want to check the muzzle, make sure we're good with no dirt.
is a nice feature to have in California to be able to spit that magazine out and run it back in there. Safety on. Safety on. You can see I kind of have to tilt my wrist a little bit to get the reach in there. point them out so once again guys looks like it's pretty solid um, like I said no cracks or anything like that um, it held up to some drop testing and like I said that wasn't uh, too crazy of a drop test but uh, oh you know what? oh look at that it actually did crack so it did actually it did actually crack looks like right around there That'll pick that up real well. It did crack all the way through there, so it looks like it almost actually cracked all the way through. So it didn't hold up to drop testing. Um, it's still there uh, as far as the end didn't come off, but uh, as far as a hard use stock, obviously you're not going to be uh, kicking any doors with it or something or doing any butt strokes with it because uh, it looks like it did fail. So that was drops from you know shoulder level. So be mindful of that, guys. Looks like this is uh, going to be limited to a uh, range use toy kind of stock. So, huh. That's cool. I wanted to at least show you guys dropping that. So, don't drop your Thorson stock. Apparently, it's not going to survive. <laughs> so, cool. Well, at least I got to show you guys on film uh, what it'll do. Because, like I said, I don't like abusing my stuff, but I do like to test it. Um, for real world conditions, like I said, I'm not going to drag it behind my truck or drop it off a roof or something. But uh, I feel, you know, that's about as high as um, you would drop something if you was dropping it. Say you're climbing a fence, something out hunting or whatever, and you let it go, bang, watch out, because uh, it looks like it will break. So, cool. All right, guys. Well, I was happy to bring you that video. I hope you enjoy watching it. Um, and like I said, form, thumbs up on this thing. It, it, uh, Works good. It's a good alternative to far as uh, the XL machine, but it is definitely just looks like a range use stock, not a hard use stock. So just keep that in mind. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day.